Welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Tanya. In today's video, we'll be working on our front yard landscaping. But first, I'm going to show you the before. My husband is beginning by trimming down these tree stumps. I'm beginning to trim out all the dead branches from our flower beds. My husband is leading us on this project and he's the one that came up with the ideas and the vision of how he wanted our front yard to look. I'm happy to assist him in pruning and raking, which are actually two jobs I don't mind doing. Now I'm going to rake any small branches and leaves that are in the flower bed out. Now I'm moving on to the front section of our yard. While I was doing that, my husband was laying down the landscaping fabric. We purchased the landscaping fabric and the mulch at Home Depot. The mulch happened to be on sale for $1.98 when we purchased it, which was a great deal. We originally purchased 22 bags of mulch, but wound up having to go back for 15 more bags to complete our front yard project. Now my husband is spreading the mulch. There's Jack relaxing while we do all the hard work of yard work. My husband took these brown pots that we already had and painted them black to give them a fresh look for summer. We purchased some Larkspur and Morning Glory seeds to plant in them. We found this to be a more affordable way of purchasing flowers as opposed to purchasing flowers that are already potted and in bloom from a large store or nursery. Our son is helping us plant the seeds. He is planting the Larkspur in the center and the Morning Glories around the edge. It's starting to get dark out, so we're going to let this be our stopping point for day one. Here we go, day two, picking up where we left off. I'm working my way to the other side of our house with more trimming.
Our son removed this rosemary stump for me. It was so big and beautiful and it filled up this whole area that I'm panning back to show you. Unfortunately, after we had that snowfall in Texas in February of 2021, it did not come back in the spring. I waited a year to see if it would sprout back up, but it never did. Our daughter brought us all a cold glass of water, which was much needed and appreciated. That wraps up day two. Here's a glimpse of our progress. If you're enjoying this video, please click like. It helps my channel to grow. If you haven't seen my summer decorate front porch video, please check that out. I'll link it in the description below. Day three, my son and I are removing all these rocks from the flower bed so that my husband can come through behind us and remove all these weeds. Then he'll lay the landscaping fabric down and mulch it. Then we all place the rocks back on the flower bed. Here's the result. It looks so much better. We found this hook and hummingbird feeder at Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. So we added it to this area. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe. It helps my channel to grow and I'd appreciate it. If you hit that notification bell, it'll notify you of my upcoming videos and I am planning on decorating the inside of our home for summer. I hope you'll join me for those videos as well. My husband and son finished the other side of the yard. They laid down landscaping fabric and mulch and they planted the seeds in these other two pots. As you can see, these have already begun to grow. and these were just planted and watered today. These are some flowers that my husband and our children planted about a week before we began this project. They're starting to grow and we can't wait for them to bloom. My husband mulched this area as well. We ran out of mulch, but we finally went back to Home Depot and got the last five bags to complete this last section of our front yard. It looks so good now and we're happy with the results. Here's our plant update. 32 days later, from seed to leaves, we can't wait for these flowers to bloom. These are the morning glories and they are doing so well. That looks like the larkspur sprouting. Time will tell if it grows and blooms or not. Here's our plumbago. It's really starting to bloom after winter. Look at those beautiful blue flowers. Here's the other pot with morning glories and larkspur. The geranium I bought in spring of 2020 is blooming again. The flowers my husband and our children planted by our front door just keep growing and growing. We're about 20 to 30 days away from blooms and we can't wait.
Our lantanas are starting to bud, so soon they'll bloom. As a matter of fact, I checked them today and the one right on the top of this screen bloomed today. It had beautiful flowers on it. So pretty. Our son has taken on the role of watering the plants every day, which I am so glad because I do not have a green thumb whatsoever. Thanks to him, our plants are thriving. Here's another lantana with buds on it and soon it will bloom too. The last pot of seeds planted is doing well too. We're excited to see our yard in full bloom. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with a friend, click like and subscribe. Bye.